Okay, so today is the day, or this series is what you guys have all been waiting for. How to build a steel drum a smoker from scratch. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead into the Home Depot. We have some parts to get. Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah! yeah. This is the one I need. This one is longer. I still need one and a quarter. One. This one should be one and a quarter. And it is. All right. All right, so we have everything I need. All right, so I have everything I need from Home Depot. Let's go get checked out and get home, hopefully start the building. All right, so with tax, that ended up being about $110 for just the plumbing aspect of the build, basically. The plumbing, the flat stock, the grill grates, or the grates, so, yeah. Now that also doesn't include the materials I have already. The materials I have already being the expanded, the screws and other things like that that I already have. All right, so it's been a couple hours and I have a drum here. Now, I prefer to use a drum that has a solid top. And I know it's more work in the in the beginning but I have to cut this out and then I have to kind of mold or fix the top this one actually also has a dent in it now this one says it has flammable liquid inside or it had flammable liquid inside so you need to be careful that that flammable liquid has dissipated ask me how I know <laughs> all right um so I do also have a drum in the back there that has an open top and I have used one of those to make a smoker out of before in the past I thought that it would actually be easier but because of the fact but because of the fact that the top is open sometimes those tops are not completely round and it just makes for a little bit more of a hectic situation be it that this one is in fact intact it should be easier albeit slightly more difficult because i have to cut the top off so i'm gonna go ahead and get set up get a grinding wheel and the best thing i found to cut the top off of this is a grinding wheel so i'm going to get the grinding wheel and cut it off okay so now that we have the top cut off and the edges so you saw me working with the grinder and then with the hammer. And what I did was I just knocked the edge back so it's pretty much flat and flush. You guys saw me also, sorry, you guys also saw me knock out the dent there. This is gonna be, well, usually 
I put the seam to be the back of the smoker, but uh, this might be the front or maybe we'll just do it on the side. How about that? But nonetheless, uh, at this point, it is time to get the paint off of the smoker and uh, we'll do it, we'll get it done. All right, so before I forget, and I know I, I was just about to get started, <coughs> excuse me, and I know I was gonna have questions about this, but what is it I use to take the paint, to, to strip the paint off of the drum? It is a four and a half inch polycarbid, polycarbide abrasive wheel. This is the best thing I've ever found to remove paint off of uh, these drums. I've tried all types of stuff. I've tried sanders, I've tried just like a straight grinding wheel. I mean, this is the bee's knees. Now it is pretty hard labor, so I'm gonna put you guys, I'm gonna set you guys back up on a time lapse and just get working at it. I'll see you guys back in a bit. All right, check that out. So unfortunately, I don't know where the uh, GoPro, where it died, but we have a nice clean drum. So as you guys saw, I have uh, used the polycarbide disc and you guys remember what it looked like in the beginning. It is a four and a half inch polycarbide, polycarbide abrasive wheel and uh, this is what it looks like now so <clears throat> you can see it definitely gets worn away oh I did not mean to do that uh, darn it anyway there is no more paint on the drum whatsoever and at this point uh, I would actually start drilling my holes and or doing some of the welding of the the ring um, the, the, for the lid so you guys saw when I got you guys saw when I got this is a piece of uh, it's, it's uh, eighth inch by inch and a quarter flat stock that flat stock what I'll do is I will bend it around the drum and make a lip for the dome lid to sit into. 
the drum is just a little bit too big to fit a 22 and a half inch um, to fit a 22 and a half inch uh, dome lid. So what I saw or what I found is if you weld a strip of metal just on the inside, you will then be able to get that dome to sit on the lip perfectly. So that's pretty much what I do. Uh, so the next step is basically gonna be me rolling the uh, band. And I actually saw Alan from Alan's Welding and Woodworking. He used heat. I'm thinking I might try to use some heat to make the, that job a lot easier. When I would do it before, I would just kinda do it by hand and I'd use pliers or vice grips and hold it still and then bend it around and then kind of get it into the shape that I needed. Once I had it into the shape that I needed, I would then just um, transfer that ring into the, uh, from the bottom, right? From the bottom to the top, uh, into the opening uh, at the top, and then I would weld it in. So, at this point, I think this is a good stopping point. I will pick this back up. Um, for another day for you guys, it'll probably be just tomorrow for me. But nonetheless, I really want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, you know, for your patience with this whole build. You know, life, man. Life, life, life. And the good thing is, it's getting cooler so I can be out in the garage and work and not be miserable. So, you know, the builds and the things that are happening in the garage should be ramping up. So. Thank you again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Say goodbye to the new drum there. I think that is probably like official drum number 12 or 13 that I've built. Maybe I think it's number 12. Anyway, uh, thank you again as always for watching. Um, if you like what you saw, if you learned something today, please leave me a thumbs up down below. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time.